Hey beauties, it's Daisy here and today I am going to show you guys how I customize my wigs and I'm getting straight into this video. Um, what I'm doing right now is I just sprayed some Gats to be glued on the hairline and I'm brushing it back. This wig is from Sunbird Hair and it's a long body wave wig. Um, it says it comes pre-plugged, which you can see it's a little pre-plugged in the front like of one little layer, but that is not how I wear my wigs. I like them really customized and I like them to look as natural as possible. So right now what I'm doing is just pulling some of the hair backwards. You want to make sure that you don't have extra hair in the hairline once you flip over the wig because we are going to bleach these knots, okay? So if you get a close up, you see it's a little bit of baby hairs like I said, but it's not working for me. And when you put the wig on without bleaching the knots, you can see those little black knots. And some people just, you know, go with it and put some pressed powder on it. But I really like a bleach knot look because it just really blends into your skin tone and everything just looks way more flawless in my opinion. Um, but I'm using some BW powder and some 30 and 40 develop 40 volume, excuse me, developer. And you want to have a thicker consistency because once you put it on, um, your lace you want to make sure that the bleach is just not seeping through and you know just place that all over the lace the hairline the parting space whatever you want to call it but make sure you get bleach everywhere because you don't want to have little spots of black knots here and then some spots are bleached you just want everything to look flawless and if you can tell there's like little um, little wrinkles or whatever you want to call them in this wig you just got to keep straightening out the wig so you can make sure the bleach gets everywhere but not like all over the place because you don't want to go too crazy but you want to make sure that you are covering that hairline and getting those edges and corners the whole shebang it's time to get into the plucking i already have the wig damp and i'm just going to take my water bottle mix with conditioner and just spray that hairline so it can be really moistured while we pluck this wig once it's wet it actually looks better and it's easier to pluck this way um, because you get an idea of where every little strand is and i just section off a small section in the front and then i start plucking backwards if that makes sense just watch me pluck and i just go into every little space i pluck like i pluck it's kind of really hard to explain plucking. You really have to watch it. So I pluck one little section and I skip a section and then I pluck a section, skip a section. And I do that all the way down the side of the hairline. And then I repeat the same steps. I just focus on plucking on the areas where they're a little bit thinner. And um, some spots may look a little bit thinner than others. But I like that illusion because once you do the baby hairs, you don't want to look like there's hair all over the place. You want to have like some gapping. I know like in my hairline, it's not all the way round across. It's like some hair here, some hair there. So you really just want to mimic your own hairline and just keep these steps in mind. And after you pluck a good row, you want to make sure that you are combing out there so you get all of the plucked hair out so you're not over plucking. And as you can see, there wasn't that much hair that came out. Um, you just want to do a little bit at a time and I don't start plucking the front hairline until the end. So I'm not going to talk your guys heads off. Just stay tuned and watch how I pluck this wig. After plucking a few rows, you want to make sure that you brush all the hair back and then get a little small section in the front again because you want to make sure you just don't over pluck. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys can tell I did over bleach these knots a little bit, but it's okay because once you put the wig on, it just looks 
more natural this way sometimes when you over bleach i don't know <laughs> i know it sounds crazy but like with the sides and the hairline it it really makes your hair look like your scalp i don't know if that makes any sense but when you put the, you see how this wig looks right it does not look like it's over bleached but just be careful when you're bleaching a wig because some wigs you can bleach for like 10 minutes and they're not done and you know some bleach wigs you can bleach for 15 minutes and they're done so you just really just have to watch um watch the hair that you're bleaching just to make sure you don't over bleach but here it still looks good it's just when you part uh the sections you can just tell that it's over bleach but as you can see we are getting somewhere with this wig it's getting thinner this hairline was really thick to begin with so it takes a little bit more time than normal so i usually spend like a good 20 minutes plucking but this time i spent like 30 to 45 minutes Last but not least, I'm just gonna do some more plucking to uh, this frontal. I wanna mimic my hairline as much as possible. And I also use some semi-permanent dye on this frontal. I wanted to make it look as natural as possible and I over bleached it a little bit too much in the corners. So that is optional. I did it off camera, um, but if you guys are interested in seeing how I correct over bleached knots, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll have a video for that as well. Now here is the wig once it's been applied and installed. I'm just showing you guys a close-up of this hairline, how good it looks after it's been plucked. And I'm just making some baby hairs, just cute little swoops on the side. You can style it however you would like, but just having a more natural plucked hairline really makes a difference in how your wig looks. If you don't believe me, here is the proof. 
So I want to thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hope you learned something. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And also check out this wig install. I'm going to have that link in the description box. This hair is super cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure you check out my other videos. Until the next one. Peace.